Hello beautiful ladies and welcome to the first video in my new series Back to Basics A Skill Building series. So I'm going to start off by saying I am doing this video series in collaboration with Rapunzel. All of the scarves and the shapers that I'm using in this series are from Rapunzel. Some, I'm going to say most of which I purchased myself over a few years of knowing about and loving Rapunzel. Some of them I did pick up from Rapunzel. They were um, given to me so that I could I could do tutorials with them. So I'm going to start out with that. Um, this is super exciting because I wish somebody had put together this kind of, of series when I first started wrapping because I, I feel like this is a huge a huge collection um it's a lot to process it's a lot to go through and figure out what i'm going to wear for the day and i thought well what would happen if i had very limited time to build my scarf collection and a limited budget so i was putting together the scarves that i thought would coordinate well you could make many 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 different looks with these scarves and you wouldn't have to necessarily repeat the same style or wear the same exact combination for a good long time. So I really hope you enjoy this. Um, I will include in the description box, sorry, this is a lot of information, so I made myself some notes. So I will be looking down during this, during this video because I'm not really good at memorizing stuff. I'm gonna apologize for that right off. I may get off in a little bit of rambling. So I have my scarves next to me and we're gonna be discussing several different topics in this particular video. But this one is the, the tutorial for beginning wrappers. That sounds so cool, wrappers. But it's for when you're first starting out and I honestly really wish somebody had made a video or that I had found a video like this. So. I'm going to cut this, cut this short and go to start talking about the, the tickles. Okay, so for this I have split it up into different tips. I think there are seven of them. I'm going to take a peek. Yes, there are seven of them um, about scarves and just basic wrapping before we start talking about the actual tying of the tickles. So when you're just starting out and you're trying to figure out what should I purchase, what, what scarves will work best, I, I'm not sure what wraps I'm going to be doing, so you, you're overwhelmed, at least I was when I first started, overwhelmed with choices. There are so many styles and so many pretty scarves. So, you know, there's silk ones and cotton and pashminas. I'm hoping that this, this first idea, this first tip will, will give you a place to start. So for me, I found that if I start, if I wrapped with certain scarves, it was much easier than, than others. So I'm going to give you a couple. I'll hold them up for you. The Israeli tickles are the world's easiest to work with. They're square. They're extra huge, large square. You can wear them with any of the shapers, you can wear them with velvet headband, you can wear it by themselves. In fact, I'm wearing the um, a peach and silver right now on my head of Israeli Tichel. I have on a velvet headband under here and my hair is just all coiled up in the back. It's super simple. Most versatile are the Israelis. Now, the next one I wanna talk about is one I wish I had a million of, honestly. It is this beautiful two-in-one. Now, this one I'm holding is a tough two-in-one. It's a little bit thicker than the original two, tough, the original two-in-one, but I do like that it's got grip. It's very, very thin, and it makes for easy layering. So I could put this one and this one together and it wouldn't be super huge and bulky. Now this, in this video, we're just gonna be focusing on single scarf wraps because that's the very beginning. It's best to start with one, one scarf. But again, 
These are phenomenal. Now, the next best scarf that I found is a Petal Soft. This is a very, very light, you can see me through it. It's a very, very light cotton scarf, rectangular. It, creases, it bunches up pretty well. Again, layers phenomenally. You can have this with the Israeli, you can have it with a two-in-one, you can put it with a sari, sari sash, so many different possibilities with this scarf. Now, I would, in an ideal world, I would have this one in brown turquoise and a cream or a tan color, but this one is the one I had, so that's the one I'm gonna be using in this series, unless somewhere in my budget I find <laughs> I find some, some monies to do, to pick up the other ones, then I'll show you those in this Tichel wardrobe. The next scarf I'm gonna talk about, it's the jersey scarf, the t-shirt tichels. I have on this hand is an extra long t-shirt tichel. This is phenomenal, um, extra, extra super long. It's helpful if you have a bigger head to use this one, you get all the complicated wraps. Um, but it, it's really, it's really fun and pretty. Easy to wrap. My only, the only thing I would caution you against is pulling the jerseys too tight. When you're wrapping around your head, you could give yourself a headache. And, and that's especially, especially so if you suffer from migraines like I do. Just be careful when, when, pull, when wrapping them that you do not pull too hard on. Now this one is the standard one. Again, they're, sim they're similar fabrics, I mean, it's jersey, but this one's a little bit smaller in the, in the length and a little wider. So, but this one is, again, you can, these are the staples, so you can combine, mix, match, do pretty much every wrap with these, with the exception of they're really hard to pleat. I will say that, there, no, um, I wouldn't try to pleat with these at least not until you're way advanced and then the pleats will not be the same as if you pleated with my next absolute favorite cranberry <laughs> this one i have it folded the wrong side out because i thought this color would go better with the collection this this light gold but it is our saffron this is the scarf that looks the best on everybody I don't think I've met a person that can't wear this. And that's that's odd for a scarf. It's odd for a color that everybody seems to be able to wear this guy. But this one is my favorite for pleating. This one is just brilliant at pleating. But you could also do the beginner's wraps, like the Regal, the Yael, the, um, just it, it, pretty much all the, the wraps. Um, the Marrakesh looks really, really pretty with a cranberry. Um, anytime you want to have a bit of pattern by your face, it, it works for that too. So the only thing is you be careful with layering and wrapping. I did a video not too long ago where I wore two of these. They're, they tend to be a little heavier, a little bulkier. So when first starting out, I would recommend just using this and getting used to it and what it does. Um, and then you can add in another scarf with it. I do like the look of this with a shimmery, and we'll talk about that one next. That's right there. But this one, again, really good for, for wrapping. Now, this one, way to make super fancy wraps. This is just perfect. All the sparkle and shine, even your simplest wrap will look fancy with this guy. It's two-sided. Um, the one side is very smooth and the other side is sort of rough, which I think helps it grip itself. So if I'm going to just put it on my head really quick, if I'm wrapping with it and I bring it around, the grippy part keeps it from sliding off of itself. So we'll wrap it over and you can see pretty 
pretty much. I'm not super pulling this tight, but I'm giving it enough tension like I would have if I had tied a knot. So this is helpful. So I, that's why I put it in with the, the beginner's staples because this is easy peasy to wrap with. It's unlike some of the other ones, the silk, flimsy silk ones, I have a bunch of them back there that I don't end up using a lot because if I'm moving around and doing a lot of, of stuff, they tend to slip backwards. And I don't always wanna stab pins into them because once you start stabbing pins into them, it, it messes up the scarf. You can't avoid it. It's it just, it happens. Okay, so my next scarf is another one of those, oh my gosh, you are amazing. You make every wrap look fancier. It's the New York Brights. This happens to be a brown one, which brown, it just doesn't suit the, the beautiful color of this. Because you have all, all those colors in here. Um, I like this. I like to, it can be, I like to layer with this one, but it can also be done with just a, an angled, um, regal, uh, Yael, where you get the tail. There's just so many things you can do with this. Also think that if you combined this one with another wrap with sparkles, you, this could be dressed up to be super amazing and fancy. So that's a, again, going to the next portion where we're doing two scarves or, or more, but this one is so nice to wrap with. It doesn't slip off. It's, it's grippy. Um, it's light. So summertime, this one's great. All right. Now soft pashmina. It took me a long time to get comfortable with using a lot of pashminas because it's, I live in Baltimore. We have hot, hot summers. And well, right now we're having this weird, this weird winter where it's hot, hottish one day, which hottish means it's, it's really warm compared to what it should be outside, especially for February, early March. Um, so I wasn't going to get a lot of use. Our, our warm weather lens, I mean, ends somewhere in October-ish, September-ish. It depends. Wait 15 minutes and the weather will change. But these are, are great when you're first starting out with pashminas. This is even better to start out with than the cranberry, even though the cranberry is a lot prettier with all the, with all the detailing. Because as you can see, it's very, very light. It has a bit of give to it, a little bit of stretch. Um, my favorite wrap with this one is Shira Tails. Now, I'm saying all of these, these wraps, I am making a playlist that I'm gonna be putting a link to in the description box so you guys, for easy to find. I did not make any of these videos, I did not make, I may put some of my videos in there, but I did not make these videos. I found them when the Rapunzel, um, I found them in other places, so with other beautiful ladies wrapping. I'm going to try to be inclusive, so send me a message if you have a favorite rap, rap goddess, rap sister that you, you want to see on the list. Um, definitely open for, for new experiences and new rap styles. So again, this one is super easy to work with. The pleating is different because it is a lighter, a lighter scarf. The pleating is a bit different than with the cranberry. You have to experiment a little bit with that. Now, keeping on with the pashminas, this is a Lakeshore Bliss. This particular one is blue. It is the is a blue. Again, in a perfect world, I would have this in the cream and brown or some of the other colors that would really match like a teal or or just colors that would go better maybe a pewter or a, not pewter that was silly a black or something that would go along with my my background as you can see behind me but that's where i pulled all these scarves from for my capsule wardrobe but this one is the one i have and again it's really pretty but this this scarf wraps just like the soft pashmina because 
while it's slightly heavier because you can't see me through it um, it's not as heavy as some of the other pashminas and again I love this one with for Shira tails Shira tails just this one is fabulous you can combine this one with and I think I think where are you we're in the bottom here you are you can combine this and this you know, the Israeli and the um, Lakeshore Bliss and have a, a beautiful look for the Shira tails. I'm gonna have to find the video that Andrea did on how she wrapped with both of these. And I'll put it in the, in the playlist. Now here is our last, the last pashmina I'm gonna talk about in this one because I'm not talking about the tapestry in this particular video. It's, it's a very heavy scarf. And I want to keep this one to the scarves that are the most versatile, the easiest to use for beginners. And that is just the solid pashmina. Now this one is a tan, but it comes in lots and lots of colors. And again, easy to wrap. Pretty much every wrap you can do with this one. All the, the beginner's wraps, I'm going to say. Um, bear in mind, it's it's a pashmina, so probably not on that 98 degree day with 75% humidity. You might not want to do that to yourself. But it makes for a great spring and fall type wrap. Or if you're like me and love going to, to the shore on, in the summertime, in the evenings it gets really windy and cold at my favorite shore spot. So this would make a perfect wrap for, for that. Now I'm going to talk about, this is our last scarf I'm gonna talk about because I forgot the shiny licious and I mean, I, I like it, but I like this one better. This is the Sparkalicious. It's a little bit heavier than the shiny licious and I feel like I could wear this. I, I feel like I do wear this more. And I, it's personal preference. Again, the other one, the shiny licious is, has a little more texture and it's a little thinner. So combining multiple of those would be great, but it's, it's back on the rack. I'll talk about, probably pull it out and talk about it in my next video. So this one, again, very, very pretty, adds glamor. I could totally put this into any single scarf wrap and Going to a wedding, add just a little a little clip, a brooch. Here, we'll show this one. This is what I've got right now laying out on my counter. I didn't, when I was picking the accessories, I didn't want to show you stuff that I've had in my collection since, you know, they were my mother's or, or stuff that I've had in my collection that's not available. I did not think that was fair. Um, but these things are available for purchase. So, and I kept it simple, I kept it simple. The, um, another way you can add, add a bit of fun with these single scarf wraps is by adding a headband. Now I'm going to go with the same, the same thing. I don't want to show you the many headbands I've picked up because some of them are not available on, on the site. And I don't want you to have to go searching for finding these things or find out that they're no longer available at all. So this is an amazing amazing product i love it um i just it because it because it's versatile it turns every necklace you have pretty much into into a headband i'd also like to talk about sorry the sorry um oh my brain i need more coffee I'd like to talk about these these sorry sashes that's the word I'm looking for. The sari sashes and the sari strips. Reach down and grab them. These are really awesome. Both the solid ones and the printed ones for adding a bit of color. That's kind of cool. Adding a bit of color without adding another scarf. This, this really works well for 
for beginners and even eat one into advanced and our, our rap savvy ladies. So, and just look at, because um, I probably could put this in a separate section, but I'm gonna, and I'm going to make an entire video on color choosing, color choice, color coordinating. Um, but I'm gonna show you something really fun and interesting with one of these scarves. Okay, so we have this beautiful Lakeshore Bliss. I will not be wrapping with this one. This one is just because I was I was looking at the colors and I thought this one would be a great choice for this demonstration. Now this one has a beautiful I'm not, I'm going to call it olive green and this bright bright fuchsia. It's amazing on the one side. But it's it's more you can see the detail more on the back side so but it's it's a bright bright color now combining scarves with this color is you would think it would be difficult you know to kind of I'm gonna say mute it but to to balance this in your face color so I'm gonna just put it on my head the easiest way for me to show you is to put it on my head So, folding it over just like I do for all my other wraps. And I'm gonna put it on my head, like so. Now, as you can see, this is a really bright, a really bright color. I'll just push this back a little bit. Okay, so, when I'm choosing what color I want to highlight, when I'm choosing something to accent this, I like to pull the less dominant color, which would be the olive. Now I can do this and this would be really great. Let's see, let's just tie it. Feels really weird having two wraps on, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. Okay. Okay, so we've got the olive and this pink. It kind of limit it kind of limits the amount of this pink that's against my face because I know I love olive green and I know that it complements my complexion, but some of the pinks are are really harsh. So, okay. Back to the wrapping. And I'm just going to wrap it right quick it up and back okay so all right it's good enough okay so I'm gonna do the same thing this will give us that we're gonna do this is a crisscrossy fun thing but As you can see, this is what it would look like doing a crisscross kind of kind of look with this scarf. It, it kind of balance it balances and it coordinates. And th this this is how I choose my colors. Now, if I wanted to add a little bit of a different look, I would take that original scarf that I so love with this beautiful, it's a sash, with this beautiful flower detail. And I would put the flower, because I find the most attractive angle for me is having the flower at the edge, the center of the flower at the edge of my eyebrow. It just lifts my face. At least I, I feel it does. So I'm gonna, quickly wrap this all right and adjust that flower again be 
because I feel like it fell. See, if I rotate it down, I feel like my face looks wider than if I'm bringing your attention more towards the top, like so. Okay, still a single scarf wrap, um, so I don't feel like I'm cheating too much with this one. All right, bring it over. For this one, I'm just gonna tie it off. I'm not bothering with the bringing it around. Now, if I were wrapping this for real and paying attention to what I were doing, this end would be the long end and this end would be the short end. But since I'm not, I'm just gonna bring this one up and tuck it away in the back. And I'm just gonna cheat this to make it look like I tied this properly. And you see, you have a completely different look because I've chosen a pink that, that is subtler, but still in the same family. And this tan, which coordinates really well. It has a little bit of a a greenish tint to it, I feel, but it coordinates really well with the green. It kind of mellows mellows it out. Honestly, it almost looks with the brown, it almost looks more brownish than olive. So I right, can get this off my head. It's getting really hot. And I hope this demonstration is helpful when you're picking out scarves and oops, there we go. All right. And, and seeing how my process works a little bit. Again, I will do an entire video on color choices, but I thought this would be a, a great time to introduce the subject while we're talking about sashes and strips. All right. Okay, so my next piece of advice, it might be, it might seem like common sense, but you'd be surprised how many times this has happened and how many times I've done this not thinking um, but do not try out the new wrap with the new scarf or or any combination of the above on the day you need to go to an event the wedding or or on a day that you do not have the time to take with wrapping be patient it, it, it takes time and just because you've mastered, we'll just throw out the regal wrap, does not mean the regal wrap is going to cooperate with every single scarf you have. It just, you get a new scarf, take, take time ahead of time to wrap it, just practice wraps, or wait until you have a bit more time to, to take with the new wrap. Now, in the beginning, it's not as, as important to do this, you know, giving yourself lots and lots and lots of time. Again, the simpler wraps, the beginner wraps, you can, you can, you don't need as much practice with, but it is important to remember this when you're moving on to two scarf wraps or more intricate wraps that you need to give yourself, give yourself some, a break. This is basically what I'm saying. Give yourself a break, give your family a break, take time ahead of time, wrap it up, Figure out what the the pitfalls of each scarf are. P -p figure out the best the best lengths to have on each side. It you'd be surprised how one of the littlest things could tip you over the edge into a full blown tickle tantrum. Now, I'm hoping that 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 bit that bit of advice will will help you out. Again. I didn't know this in the beginning. It took me it took me a little bit of time to figure out why nothing was working, why I couldn't get I couldn't get the shaper on properly. I you know, I was like I've got to get out of the house in 5 minutes, but I really wanted to wear this really really beautiful wrap and the scarf wouldn't tie or it's I'm I'm rambling, but I hope I hope you get the gist of of that part. And that goes into my next my next section my next session my next section, which is the three P's. Now it's, it's kind of cliche, uh, sorry, it, but it works. It's cliche for a reason. Patience, 
practice perseverance in any any anything you have to give you have to be patient because it's a new skill takes a long time to learn it takes a long time if you were uh, an artist and you were painting you know Michelangelo and and Leonardo da Vinci and all of these people they didn't just wake up one day and and create masterpieces it's learning process you know chefs don't wake up one day and be like I'm a chef I I know how to cook everything I can do everything everything comes out perfect so be patient and then practice because practice makes better I'm not gonna say practice makes perfect because perfection is overrated practice makes better practice with your scarves you know tickle play and, and it's kind of fun to, to do this we our children have playtime and we we spend time doing a lot of other things we practice putting on our eyeshadows we we practice we practice with a lot of things in our lives we practice that that instrument to learn the new piece of music well this is the same thing you need practice so adding a little bit of, of tickle play it, it gives you it gives you a way to spend time on you, which is important that we do, we do self-care. And self-care is different for everybody. But for me, this is my meditation. When I take the five to 10 minutes, several times a week, once a week, twice a month. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. Whichever you choose, I do recommend grabbing your scarf. Doesn't have to be a new one. It, it can be something that you that's your favorite. And I do recommend that one. One you've worked with, before is 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 good for meditating it's it's good for for trying out the new wrap and then once you've mastered it with a scarf that you understand and that you love moving on to a scarf that you've never used before that way you're you're like okay it's not that I don't know how to wrap it's not that I don't know how to wrap this style it's not that I'm not getting the style it's that the scarf is different and I have to learn the new scarf at least for me, that's that's helpful for me. So I'm hoping that I explained that properly. Um, but I've gone into the next step, which was five, was setting aside the time for yourself, the time to learn, the time to practice, the time to play. But I've skipped over perseverance. But keep at it. Keep at it. You know, we fail. It happens. Some, some of my best raps are ones that I completely failed at. I mean, it's just... I couldn't I, I couldn't get the crisscrosses and you're like no nah, no Olivia is known for crisscrossy wraps and pleating well you know what I didn't grab the scarf put it on my head and pleat it perfectly the first time it took much much time I mean many 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 wraps to get to the point where I can I can understand what I'm doing with the pleats and make it work with the with the scarf that I'm picking up and know that I'm not going to get the same pleats out of this t-shirt tickle that I will out of my pashminas and with the back to the the Chrissy cross wraps I could never get all the pink on this side and all the green on this side I couldn't do it I I don't I just didn't understand it I watched the videos and I watched them and I watched them and I watched them and I ended up with a pink and a green a green and a pink and also both going this way and both going this way at the same time not realizing that I number one I had to get both tails on this side you know the both the pink on this side both the green on this side and then alternate it, it took me a very long time to figure out what I was doing wrong and and that's a that's an easy well why didn't you know why did, didn't you notice that the, the lady was wrapping with both pinks on this side and both greens on this side? No. So, so perseverance, try and try and try. Um, I think, I think it was helpful for me in the beginning to grab one wrap, one wrap per week and wrap with that, with a bunch of different scarves, you know, seven days in a week, seven different scarves, same wrap. So that was, that was really helpful starting out just so that it gives you time to master a rep and master using the not master but understand the differences between your scarves 
So finally, this is the last bit of, of advice. Scarves are not Pokemon. We do not need to collect them all. And you're laughing at me right this minute because yeah, no. This has been, my, my grandmother started my addiction many, many, many years ago. And for some reason, I can't let go of things. I, it's, it's one of those things, those, those character flaws that I've learned to live with with myself. When it comes into my collection, it never seems to leave. I'm working on this. I would not be the one to go through and de-stash. I think I'd have to have somebody come in and do it for me. But, um, again, they're not Pokemon. Don't, don't buy every scarf out there. Especially if it's a color you will not wear. If it's, it's a color that you say, oh, I don't look, I don't look good in this color. Orange is not my color. Okay, that's fine. I do not believe orange is the new black. But, you recognize that and you go, okay, I'm not going to buy the colors in this, in this, this over here. So you don't have to buy those, but I'm, I'm, I'm rambling. So I'm going to get back on topic. The best thing to do is to find the colors you wear the most, the colors you fancy the most, the color, you know, the, the scarves that you love to look at and stick with that color theme. The ones that will go best with your wardrobe. Again, I can't, I can't lecture people on having too much, having too, too many styles because I'm all over the place. I, today I'm wearing neutrals. Tomorrow I could be wearing my hot pink, hot pink flamingo outfit with the teal and the, because I'm odd like that. But typically people have a style, have an aesthetic. If you're, I'm going to, a neutral person choose neutrals this the one I was choosing this capsule wardrobe capsule tickle wardrobe that's kind of fun I would try to keep it keep it neutral with a pop of green <laughs> that's it's like a, a like several of my makeup palettes they're neutrals with a pop of color so I chose teal turquoise they're they're pretty close in in color but um, if that's your wardrobe, choose choose scarves in that and then build on on that because if you're you're first starting out and you say I can buy 10 scarves, you're gonna want to mix and combine and you know you don't want to buy the the red, white and blue scarf and a teal scarf and a yellow scarf and you know all these different scarves and tons of printed scarves and, you want to because you'll never be able to combine them I don't, I don't want to say never because never is is a long time but it's harder to combine that and then combine combine them with your clothing if you don't have red white and blue or you don't feel like the fourth of july or or patriotic if you want if you want to have a cohesive small beginning and I'm not stating this correctly. This is sometimes my issue. I've got so much in my head that I that I want to t to tell you because it's it's important. These things are important. But if you start with a basic 10, 15 scarves, heck, if you start with five scarves that you can mix and match and add a bit of of diversity, a bit with pins, a bit of of accessories accessories you can put the you know mix and match and use what you have and you will have a fantastic tickle wardrobe now i hope that came out right i hope it doesn't sound condescending but again these are things that i've learned through collecting if i walk into my closet and i want to i want to be i want to be neutral it's kind of hard when everything is on this section here and I have reds and pinks and, and then blues and greens because that's not going to go with like today's aesthetic kind of calming and soothing and neutral. So again, I know this is long and I, I appreciate you hanging in there. I'm going to start talking about the actual wraps in the next section of this video.